comments. Um, hope everyone's doing. It, hope you've had a, a good start to your new year. Um, I thought I would do one of my little four to five minute shorts. We'll see how it goes um, in regards to YBN ketosis part number 16. I realized I started this 25 uh, reason series or this 25 part series and only got to 15, never finished. And so I wanted to add in uh, intermittently between these uh, shows, some of the things that we can do. Uh, hello, is it Om? Um, I'm not sure who that is. Um, missed, uh, missed this? No, you didn't miss it. You're live. Uh, we're here. Um, I am not doing Keto Talk with Jimmy. I stopped doing that uh, quite a while ago, about six months ago. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk about the uh, Part 16 YB and ketosis. One of the really cool things about um, being in ketosis is that it actually uh, has a number of benefits, 25 of them specifically that we've thus far noted. Um, I'm going to talk about number 16, and so that's um, longevity. Uh, and how a ketone uh, or beta hydroxybutyrate affects the body. Um, the the DNA of the body is kind of wound up. If you ever take a shoelace and you wrap it up really tight, it'll start to wrap um, and it'll form little knots. And the tighter you wrap it, those knots will form double knots. Um, histones are actually uh, little kind of locks that rock around the that wrap around the double knot. And when the body needs to to read some of its encoding. It unlocks the histone, unwinds that part of the DNA, reads it, creates whatever it needs, like an enzyme or something like that, and then winds it back up. And so histones play a big role in our body's ability to use um, various enzymes and to rebuild, regenerate cells. One of the big buzzwords you hear with intermittent fasting is autophagy or um, uh, kind of basically uh, cellular cleansing where the body breaks down the old cells, gets rid of them, takes the parts that are necessary and reuses them in new cells. Um, basically, that's mediated by ketones. What ends up happening is you, when you're in ketosis, uh, your body, um, the ketone itself allows for the activation of important enzymes that uh, in, that actually increase lifespan. We're actually seeing this in a number of animal models. Now, no one's actually tested this with humans yet, but we know that g genes work very similarly, so it's it's pretty likely. And we we see this in in uh, in populations that have longevity, that their ability to be in and out of ketosis based on their diet or their lifestyle um, or periods of fasting um, enhance the cellular function. So we see improved cellular repair. We see enhanced lifespan of the cell. We see improvement of the cells where the body is able to pull out and get rid of cells that are bad and, and regenerate those cells more effectively um, and diminished inflammation in general that, that causes cellular damage. And so the ketone, not only is it a fuel, but it acts as a marker to say, hey, um, let these cells linger around a little bit longer and it actually increases the longevity and it's, it's, uh, makes you look younger. So the, 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 the more effective keto, uh, ketone generation you can get in your body or the more, uh, effective presence of ketones, the more, um, effective reading of the DNA through histone modulation occurs. Uh, and we see a person, uh, it's essentially like drinking from the fountain of youth. Um, it slows the aging process, uh, in a number of different ways. Now there's a whole bunch of scientific mumbo jumbo that I can spiel out here. And some of you will probably be disappointed because I don't. Um, but in those three or four ways, basically by unwinding the DNA, reading the DNA, uh, producing enzymes that allow for improved life expectancy and improved life longevity, you'll actually see this improvement. So that's part number 16 is longev longevity and the ability to uh, see improvement in the lifespan because of the presence of ketones more predominantly. So that's part number 16, reason number 16 as to why being ketosis. So those of you looking for the fountain of youth, um, it occurs in the saturated fat. It occurs from your bacon and it occurs from your exogenous ketones. Uh, those are all, all great things to look at. So um, right before I get start heading home, I thought I would take some questions. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Sheila. Hello, Wanda. Um, Love the new way of eating faith. You did not miss anything important other than um, doing the rewind and looking at the, the reason for, for being this. And I've talked about this before, but I thought I would just do a little four minute short that I can plug on my video. Um, I'm like Benjamin Buttons. I don't know if that's good or bad, Kate. Uh, holy cow, you missed the face. Crystal, hello, how are you? Um, hi from Portland. I wish I could see you guys' face. It would actually be cool. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch all you guys here. Uh, hello, Rhonda. Hello, Elise. Hello, is it Christy? Um, boy, there's a ton of people on here. Um, let's see. Hello, Tammy. How are you guys doing? Welcome. It's good to see you guys. Um, is one meal a day and keto a good combination? Stephen, are you referring to um, one deal, a meal a day and exogenous ketones? Or what do you mean by that? Um, if you're only hungry once a day, then only eat once a day. 
in regards to a ketogenic lifestyle. Um, if you're only eating one meal a day, but yet you're starving all day long, that's not good. And that's that, that, that actually doesn't benefit you at all. Um, if you're, if you're eating one meal a day and you're using possibly exogenous ketones and that one meal a day has enough protein and caloric need to su supplant what you need, that, that may work out well for you. Uh, it, it's a little bit variable for everybody. Hello, is it Emiliano? Um, blood monitor or breath monitor? I, I'm much, I much prefer the blood monitor, Lori. Um, in most cases, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a much more preferential to that. Um, uh, yes, faith. I don't know what that means. Um, Stephen says one meal only. Well, only if you're Stephen. If, if one meal keeps you full all day long, that works great. Like I said there. Um, I need to move to Texas. You know, I would love to come and open an office in Texas. That would actually be cool. Um, hello from Pennsylvania. I'm a nutritional consultant at Primary Use Low Carb High Fat. Oh, you're very welcome, Doug. Um, am I looking or feeling better, Doc? You were looking so tired last night. I was exhausted last night. And it was actually bad lighting, um, and I was I had my my iPad way down here, so I I was I, and I watched myself. I looked like I had a triple chin. Um, how long does it take before the body goes into ketosis when you're done properly? It can take anywhere from 24 hours to seven days. And in some cases for some people, I've seen up to three weeks. Um, so it's cool. I uh, better look over here at Periscope because they're going to be mad at me. Um, Happy New Year to you guys. Let's see. Um, what is my bench? My bench is made of wood and it sits out on my backyard. If that's what, you, uh, but I'm sure that's not what you're asking. You're probably asking what my bench press is. And to be honest with you, um, I haven't done a max for a long, long time. Um, because I actually use lightweights. Uh, what does does keto mojo get uh, double reading? Why does keto why does mojo get double reading than precision extra? I don't know what that means. Just some hello from Dallas. Um, let's see, three to five days for atrophy. I don't know what that means, Sandra. You'll have to clarify what that what that question is. Keto plus fasting plus exercise. Um, I would be very cautious with that. Uh, if you're doing keto and you're intentionally fasting for prolonged periods of time, I've seen some, some major problems with that. So I'm not a big fan of doing that. Um, at bacon tonight, congratulations, keto warrior. Let's see how long does it take before the body goes into ketosis when done properly? Oh, I answered that question. Okay. So hopefully I got most of the questions. If I missed your question, um, then pop it in there and I will try to, uh, to answer it. Um, let's see. I just got a keto mojo meter and it reads twice as high as my precision extra. Um, then I would check the, uh, you want to check the, uh, the, um, expiration date on your test strips, make sure they're correct. Uh, it, you said it intermittent fasting benefit. You said intermittent fasting benefit was atrophy thought that took three to five days. I am not quite sure what you're asking. Um, if uh, I'm, you have to clarify what you're asking. I don't remember if, if you're, I'm still trying to figure out the whole calorie fat thing. Um, don't, uh, Sherry, uh, don't worry about, don't worry about calories. That's the number. Th number one thing is get the calorie mantra out of your head and focus on your, your carbohydrates first and then increase the fat. Uh, all right. Uh, if you, if you're looking for some greater direction that go to my website, docmuscles.com. Um, I've got some great information there that'll give you some on the blog that give you some direction on how to, start, how to jumpstart that process. Um, if you're interested in, in getting more direct uh, interaction with us uh, through our keto clan website, you can register uh, for what, for our products and you can, that puts you into the keto clan Facebook site, which allows you to, uh, to access uh, more, more interaction with me in regards to how to do those things more effectively uh, and my staff. Um, so let's see here. Autophagy, someone said, I don't know what, quite that, what that means. Katie, um, I'm looking back to see if there's another question you had there. All right, let me start here. Is there any reason to get off metformin if you tolerate it well? Um, it, it, not, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're doing well, not necessarily, Faith, because it actually is beneficial. If your A1C starts dropping low enough, you may consider it. Um, or if you start getting uh, uh, hypoglycemic episodes, then I would talk to your doctor about that. Down 30 pounds, Jennifer. Congratulations. That's awesome. <clears throat> what if you had open heart surgery? Um, oh, of course, you know, ketones are, are a form of fuel. If your body, if you go without a meal, your body creates ketones. So there's no problem, Jeff, uh, in regards to using ketones, um, whether you've had surgery or not. Uh, in fact, what I find is that uh, in, in, a, in a ketogenic state, um, where your body's using predominantly ketones, the heart actually squeezes more effectively. We've known that for quite a while. So it's actually great. How often do you eat during the day, doc? And don't say when I'm hungry. Oh, Rachel, you took the fun right out of it. Um, I eat, I get up in the morning. If I exercise, I usually have two boiled eggs um, and I drink an exogenous ketone drink. Um, sometime mid-morning, if I'm hungry, I'll add two more eggs. 
If I'm hungry, if I didn't work out, I probably, I'm usually not hungry. And so um, I'll, I may sip on an exogenous ketone drink that, that way. Um, at lunchtime, the drug reps usually will bring in a, a lunch if we have someone coming in to talk with us about a product or something. Um, so I may eat, I'll probably eat then. Um, and then I usually eat uh, a bigger meal at dinner time with my family. Sometimes if I'm not really hungry, I'll just have another ketone chick at night. Uh, there's a, is there's, there's a question about summer sausage. Um, there is a, here's a question about summer sausage and Swiss cheese. Is it okay? Absolutely. It's okay. Um, it's nice to see you, Luisa, big, uh, big doc muscles fan here. Keep going, dude. Uh, love the facts. Well, thank you. That's, I appreciate that. Um, Rachel, did I answer your question? I hope I did. All right. Let's see. I've been following you. Um, uh, I've been following a time restricted feeding, eating my meals at nine hour windows. Any truth to the fact that we're much more insulin sensitive later in the evening and the night. Uh, that's usually because you're not as active and because the activity during the morning, which is where a lot of people are more active, uh, they're more insulin sensitive. As you become less active, you're less insulin sensitive. But I, I, I see no reason to time restrict um, because you're you're going against what your body's trying to tell you it needs or it wants. So you want to listen to what your body's needing. Uh, and if you're and if you if you start to get to where you're starving, um, then that actually creates a stress response that does the exact opposite of what you're looking for. All right. Ketogenic diet is good for someone that had their gallbladder removed. Um, I answered that multiple times, Amanda, but yes, it's actually just fine for somebody who's had their gallbladder removed. Um, oh, I answered it. Rachel said, yes, I answered her question. Okay, good. Um, oh, the questions are rolling like crazy, so I'm having trouble catching up with them all. Hello from Memphis. Jennifer, how are you? Uh, let's see here. Oh, you already, I already said that, didn't I? All right. I think I cut all those questions there. So um, if you guys have any other great questions, pop them on here. Otherwise, I'm going to head home and say hello to my family. Um, and so there's three more uh, questions here. Concerned about saturated fat. Um, why are you concerned about fat, saturated fat? Um, I am not worried about saturated fat at all. If you read the last three studies on saturated fat, you'll find that saturated fat is actually important, especially when you're doing a ketogenic lifestyle. Um, for those that are just signing in, my name is Dr. Adam Nally. I'm a board certified family physician and a board certified obesity medicine specialist. I practice in Surprise, Arizona. I've uh, been in practice for about, I guess now 17 years. Um, is it dangerous to, uh, or unsafe to consume more than two servings of ketone salts? Not at all, uh, Brandy, it's not. Um, do you need to take supplements in a keto lifestyle? You don't need to, but it makes lifestyle easier. Um, I've been doing this for about 12, 13 years, and I find that using the exogenous ketones allows me to have a much easier lifestyle. Otherwise, I spend hours upon hours in the kitchen. Um, and neither I nor my wife has the time for that, uh, nor do many of you. So that's where the exogenous ketones come into play in my life. Uh, you are very welcome, guys. Um, hopefully, for those of you like um, Lilitan, I answered you with my name, told you who I was. Um, if you haven't checked out my website, please go there, docmuscles.com. Um, I put it in the, uh, the bar either above or below, depending on where you're watching this from. Um, check out the products that we have. Um, I have got some jumpstart programs, some kickstart programs, 30 days, 90 day programs, uh, that'll get you kickstarted. If you sign up for one of those programs, we include you or we add you to what's called the Keto Clan Facebook group, which is a private group where, in, where you get to interact with me on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Uh, it gives you the ability to ask questions and things of that nature, uh, more, more closely. Um, if you're in the Arizona area, come and see me as I could be, I can help treat you that way. Um, I enjoy doing that a, a great deal. Um, we specialize, I'm a family physician, so I do full spectrum family medicine, but I, I focus a lot of it with a ketogenic lifestyle. Uh, and then we also do laser cosmetics and some things like that, where we actually do some laser treatments for uh, facial rejuvenation and things of that nature. So hopefully that'll help you uh, get an idea as to who I am. Anyway, that is the, the short and sweet about uh, part number 16, why be in ketosis in regards to longevity and histones. And hopefully that answered your question. If you just signed in, watch the replay. It'll give you a little brief four minutes uh, information blurb about how cool ketones are in signaling our body to open up and, and allow us to read DNA that allows us to have a longer lifespan, a healthier body, and more healthy cells. Uh, you guys have a great evening. I'm going to sign off. Uh, hopefully we'll catch you, uh, catch you live either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, when I sign on again, um, keep the fat high, keep the carbs low. You guys have a great evening and, uh, talk to you later. Good night. Bye-bye. Now I gotta figure out how to turn it off. Oops. <laughs> have a good night guys. Take care.